Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we are going to implement the next link. When building a reward application, there will come a time where you will want to navigate from one page to the other. Okay, so specifying the URL right within the tab is not the proper way to do that. So for example, if I want to navigate to James page, I will do something like this slash users slash James. Can you see? So for we developers, this may seem right, but for the end users, this will be improper. So let's quickly head on to VS Code and let's learn how to implement the route link. Right within the VS Code, we are going to create a component directory within the SRC. Right click, new folder. And then I'm going to call this folder components. Right within the components directory, we are going to create another folder called navbar. Within the navbar, we are going to create the navbar component. navbar.js. Let's generate the functional component within the navbar.js. Beautiful. Save. All right, so now it is time to link from one page to the other. And for sure, it is extremely easy. Yeah, let me teach you quickly. Let's wipe this off. Within the div, we are going to have a link. And this link will be imported from nest link. So all you have to do is import link from nest link. And take note, the link we imported over here is on carb. So for the attribute, we're going to have the href equal, assign it a value. So we are going to do slash. So this will be a pointer to the home page. Let's close it up like this. And I'm going to do home. Again, the link. We want to open up the James page. So we have to target the users, which is the users directory, slash James. It's as simple as that. Within the inner HTML, we are going to display James to show the link. All right. Lastly, I just have to highlight and then duplicate it. So here we want to target John's page. I'm going to do John. I'm going to do here John. Having done this, we have to render the navbar right within the layout simply because we want the navbar to stay consistent in all our pages. So here I'm going to go to layout.css. Here exactly is where we will render the navbar component. But before then, we have to import it at the top. Import navbar from dot dot slash. We have to target the components directory slash navbar slash navbar. Beautiful. So here we just have to render the nav bar. Save the project. On the browser, there are this. Now we have the nav bar at the top here. When I click on John, let me show you. And boom, right now we are within the John's page. When I click on home, that takes us back to the home page. It's as simple as that. So we just have to do something very quickly. Let's give this a class name. And then we're going to say display flex. Justify content to center. So let's just make the link to be a little bit beautiful. And then it appears here. Good. So I can click on James. I can click on John. James, John. James, John. Can you see? And then let's head back to home page. Beautiful. So this is how simple it is to navigate from one component to the other. And that's it. All right. This is all for now. In the next lecture, I will show you how to fetch data from an API endpoint. And that as well is extremely simple. This is all for now. Make sure to hit the like button. Do well to subscribe and see you in the next lecture.